Hey guys, so this is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I made sure that I got up extra early so I could film this haul for you guys. I know I haven't been uploading nearly as much as I used to. I just wanted to say that I do appreciate those of you that have continued to stick by my channel, leave comments, watch my videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I do miss you guys. I'm trying to make an effort to pick things up while I'm at work. It's just a little bit more hard when I'm working to get out onto the floor and get the things that I see that are good deals. So, I also have just a couple of items that I will save for the very end of the video from Walmart, just in case you're not interested to see the Walmart items. It's at the end and you don't have to. So, the first thing that I have to show is this super cute Jot corrugated file holder. I didn't even know that we had these. Someone actually brought these through my line, and I put two of them aside on my register, but I forgot about them, so they got put back, and by the time I made it to the aisle, I was only able to get one, so I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for at least one more in this print. I think it's super cute. It's got all of the Paris theme stuff on it. It's got the Eiffel Tower. It's got the wine, the baguettes. It's got the lights, the little bike with the basket. Just super cute stuff on there. There was also these super cute purse or bag tassels in gold and silver. They were up near the registers, and I put three of them aside. I even posted a picture of them on my Instagram. And like some of the other things that I put aside, someone grabbed them thinking they were go-backs, put them back, and the very next day when I got into work, the whole box was gone. I was very disappointed because they were super cute. So definitely keep your eyes open for those purse tassels. Really cute. I picked up a pack of the Glad garbage bags. Yes, this isn't the best value. You're only getting seven, and this is even a bonus box. Normally, I guess it comes with five. And it says 40% more bonus two free bags. Normally I get the off brand because you get more, but this is the Hawaiian Aloha scent. It's got the Febreze freshness, so I thought I would give it a go. I like to try stuff like this out at the Dollar Tree because then if I end up liking it, I'll purchase it when I go to Walmart or Target. This was a repurchase. I had already showed these, I believe, in my last video. These are the Global Beauty Care Retinol Spa Treatment Masks. You get two of them in each pack, and they just seem like a good deal. No, I haven't had a chance to try the ones that I already purchased, but I thought, you know what? When Dollar Tree gets stuff like this, you don't know when they're going to get it again, so I picked up two more boxes. Plus, I like sending this type of stuff out in friend mails. I picked up this Daily Defense. It is the Coconut Oil and Vitamin E Deep Conditioner Frizz Defense. And this is very similar to the little pink tub that I've been getting for years. But as you can see, it's in the Daily Defense brand. It is a three-minute leave-in treatment conditioner just like the other one. It does smell really good. And as you can see, I have taken it in the shower and I have tried it twice it was eh, not my favorite. Like I said, it did smell really good, but it didn't make my hair as soft as the pink one. So my Dollar Tree actually didn't have any of the pink ones. They only had these. So I'm hoping that they will continue to get the pink um, Salon Selectives brand because that is my all-time favorite. This is five ounces of the Daily Defense Deep Conditioning um, Treatment. <clears throat> these were also a repurchase. I picked up two more packs of the Sassy and Chic Artificial Nail Tips. You get 80 of them. And once again, when Dollar Tree gets stuff like this, you don't know when they're going to get it again. So I went ahead and picked up two more because that's just a really good deal. This is the um, Long Length French Overlap. It says glue not included. <clears throat> I picked up this super cute little cosmetic bag. It says Killing It. It's in the hot pink, and it's got the blue zipper up top. I also picked up... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. You guys know my voice is always really bad, especially in the morning. So I also picked up this one in 
the royal blue it says gorgeous this is like a plastic material and i love the fact that they both have the gold cursive writing in the middle of the bags this one has the baby blue zipper on top so i definitely could not pass on those <clears throat> this is another repurchase these are the hello kitty oral b power brushes and i had only found two of these because these went super fast I did see them when they were first put out. I just wasn't able to make my way to the floor because my line is like nonstop. So when I saw that they put out more, I picked up two more of them. So now I have four in total. These make awesome stocking stuffers, birthday presents, just anything like that. And it actually says that it has the Duracell batteries included, which I think is a really good deal. I picked up this mini canvas picture, and they had, I think, about five or six, somewhere around there, um, different prints in these little canvas pictures. It's got the jute twine that you hang it up with. This one says she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add glitter to the word sparkle and maybe even add some rhinestones like maybe one in each corner i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do to it but i am going to spice it up just a little bit i thought that was cute they had some other really cute ones but i've told you guys before i have so many wall art items from dollar tree that i have yet to hang that i have to be kind of selective on which ones i pick out jordan picked up this scrub buddies pack of reusable gloves he actually got these to put in his tackle box for fishing and these are the large you get one pair i think he should have picked up the ones that are like the ones they use at the hospital where i think you get like 10 pairs in each pack but these are the ones he picked out i picked up these chapstick brand chapsticks this one is in the Aloha Coconut. That is like a scent or a flavor that I would normally be drawn to. They had this one. This one isn't a scent or a flavor that I would be drawn to, but I got this one for Jordan. This is the Green Apple. It says 8 hours of moisture, and each of them are 0 0.15 ounces. I thought that was a good deal. I mean, I know they're only like a dollar anyways, but to get them at the Dollar Tree... I picked up this Driver's Choice Car Air Freshener in the vanilla. I've never smelled this one before or used this particular brand, but I thought, why not? There's one that I also purchased on this trip, and I forgot to save it until I hauled it for you guys. It's the little circle ones. At least I don't think I hauled them. Maybe I did. They're the little circle ones, and they're vent clips, and it's got liquid inside, and it's in, like, the Hawaiian or tropical one and it's in like a kind of light orangish red color and that one smells really good for the summer it seems to be really strong I have both of them in my car right now and I'm really loving them I picked up one of the soft lips pearl it says smile with soft lips lip conditioner and it's got the SPF 15 I thought that was really good considering it's summertime and yes, you guys, I know I don't have my acrylics on. I actually don't have them on because, as you can see on my pinky nail, I jammed my fingernail at work while I was cleaning the register, and it lifted off most of my real nail, as you can see. So I'm going to give myself like a week break until I get them back on again. I picked up this pack of the Jot Craft Stickers, and yes, these aren't anything new people have been showing these for like three weeks and I think I picked up some of the other ones and I ended up passing on these at least I think but when I saw them something about them just um really spoke to me I think they're really pretty they've got the glitter and the rhinestones on them so I went ahead and picked them up this time I showed the empty fragrance boosters to you guys in my last video and it was just a coincidence that I was able to find them right after I showed them the empty bottle to you guys in my last video. I picked up all the rest of them that were on the shelf because I know we got a bunch of them, but like I said, they go really fast. So there was five left on the shelf, and I grabbed all of them because I absolutely love them. 
Someone commented saying that they didn't like them, and that's just how it goes with everything. Not everyone is going to like all of the same things. Everything works differently for, you know, all different people. So, I don't know. I really like them. It makes my clothes really soft, and it makes them smell really good. This is 15 ounces of the Clean Fresh Scent Fragrance, excuse me, Boosters. So, let me get those out of the way. And this isn't like a super large haul, you guys. I actually have some other items that Jordan picked up that I need to pause the video and get. This was also a repurchase. I've showed two of these to you guys before. It says a little mermaid sleeps here. And when I go on the picture frame and candle aisle, I quickly go through the wall art because I actually have a couple of people that cannot find these, so I like to look for them. And if I'm able to find them, I like to pick them up and send them to them. This one is really hard to find, so I'm really lucky that I found three of these so far. I picked up two more packs of the Crest Pro Health Sensitive and Enamel Shield Toothpaste. This one we actually already opened and took into the bathroom. I just wanted to show you what the tube looked like. So this one's still closed. It says that it fights cavities, gingivitis, sensitivity, and plaque. It's 7.0 ounces. I think that's a really great size considering it's a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Especially with the work that Jordan and I are having done on our teeth right now. That's perfect for us. I picked up two more of the Matcha Garden Green Tea and Aloe. It's 8 ounces. I had showed you guys in my last haul the orange looking one. And that one is called... I forget what it's called, but it's more of like a citrus smell. And when I first smelled it in the store, I thought it smelled really good. But now after I've been using it in the house, I really don't like it. It's very just overpowering and it's just got a smell this is going to sound gross but I don't know if you guys have ever smelled like um when cans are recycled or when you take your cans to the recycling place and there's like that beer smell or just like old soda smell that's what that smell reminds me of I know that's crazy but the other one that's what it smells like to me like an, a very um alcohol smell I picked up a thing of the wheat bread, and this is in the Busy Baker brand. As you can see, yes, a couple of the items we've already opened and used. The bread is very hard to come by at my local Dollar Tree. It goes really fast. People come in looking for it all the time, and believe it or not, people get really irritated. They come in and ask for it, and I'll tell them we don't have it, and they're like, well, you didn't have it last time, and I'm just like, sorry, like... Really don't know what to tell you. People come and they buy it in bulk. And then they also expect to know, um, they want to know when we're going to get it again and how much. And it's just impossible to know when we're going to get it and how much. So when I see it, I definitely pick it up. Um, I don't really care for wheat bread, but that's all they had. So I picked some up anyways. Here's another item that I've already broken into because I purchased this stuff like Three or four days ago, you guys. So this is the Dawn Non-Concentrated Simply Clean Dish Soap. It's 12.6 ounces. I do prefer to purchase the really large Dawn and just refill this, but I need another one of those. So I picked that up. Let me see, you guys. I picked up this super cute Hello Kitty toothbrush. This is also in the Oral-B brand. And I have multiple Hello Kitty toothbrushes from Dollar Tree, 99 cent only. This one I thought was really cute. It's got the little Hawaiian Hello Kitty up there with the little flowers. I kind of wish I would have picked up two of these, but I'm happy that I got at least one of them. I also picked up another one of the Hello Kitty Strawberry Surprise Cookie mixes, it's got the edible images that are included. So these are the Hello Kitty items that I picked up on this trip. I picked up this Lady Speed Stick Invisible Dry Shower Fresh Deodorant. And it says cheer, oh my gosh, cheer. Sheer protection, 24 hour protection, 1.4 ounces. I actually forgot that I purchased this. I'm glad that I got into the bag because I really needed deodorant. Jordan picked up this Tool Bench brand slip joint pliers 
We couldn't find our needle nose pliers anywhere, and wouldn't you know, now that we purchase these, we find the needle nose ones. So now we have um, the slip joint ones and the needle nose. I picked up this scrunchy brand pack of 15 um, rubber bands, and I thought these were really cute. They had lots of super cute scrunchy headbands, head wraps, rubber bands, and of course, I missed most of them. I did take pictures of them. I wanted the ones that had the little gold um, clasp or just a little gold thing in the middle, and I missed those, so I was just happy to have found one pack. I found this not even where the rubber bands go because in the summertime, I do use clips, but I also like to put my hair in a messy bun, and I use rubber bands for that, and I like the ones that are super stretchy, so these are going to be perfect. I actually had been using these rubber bands. They were Dollar Tree brand that I got like a couple years ago. They were brand new. They were like gold, gold, black, and silver, and then like a rose gold color. And the glitter, I don't know, like the glitter on them made it like, I don't know, it would like tear on my hair. They were just really horrible, you guys. So I was happy to have found those. Trying to make sure there's nothing that I'm leaving out before I start showing you guys the Walmart stuff. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I paused the video so I could find this little item and then this little item. These were two other items that Jordan had picked out, and I actually had to get into his backpack. He has um, some of his fishing stuff right here. He has way more than this, but I had to get them out of this stuff. And he picked up this manicure set just so he could get the nail clippers in there because... Most fishermen have nail clippers to clip their line. I told him he should have just got the regular nail clippers, but he had already got this, so I'm going to pick him up a regular pair. And then, I don't know if you guys had remembered, but I had showed you guys this in a previous haul. This is the Nautica LED multi-tool that I had got um, one of these for Robert's dad, Brandon, for Father's Day, and Jordan really liked it, so I picked this up for him in the meantime. It's got, it's not as nice as this one. This one, I believe, was $6.99. Yeah, $6.99. And it's just a Dollar Tree one, but it does have a lot of stuff on it like this. Well, I broke down and was able to find him um, the exact same one at Ross. So now he has this one from the Dollar Tree and then this one from Ross. This one has um, the corkscrew. It's got, I can't even get all the stuff out with one hand, but it does have a lot of stuff in it. And like I said, he's really been um, building up his fishing collection. He has way more than just this, but he has a nice backpack with lots of little compartments and a tackle box. And so these were two of the items that he got for fishing. And then, like I said, he also got the gloves. So and now he can add that as well from Ross. Now I'm going to show you guys um, the last couple of items from Walmart. I picked up, and these I also already got into. You guys know they have the little scent packs for $2. They have a couple different brands. This is the Sensationals. This is the Coffee Cake Swirl Scent, and I've used one out of there. And I had actually purchased this for a friend mill or a giveaway. I don't remember which. And as you can see, I've used two out of there, and when I would smell it, I thought it smelled good. I just didn't think it smelled like it would be very strong, and I like really strong um, scented stuff. Well, when I put the first one in, I fell in love with this scent, you guys. It smells like you're at a bakery or a shop where they're baking cookies or cake or something like that. It smells so good. The next time I go to Walmart, I am definitely going to stock up on this cupcake one. I'm going to get like 10 of them because it smells so good and I'm just in love with it. So each of these are 2.5 ounces. Then I had showed these to you guys like quite a while back, but they had them again. So I bought one and then Jordan bought me one because I didn't want to buy two of them. They were $4.97 each, and instead of getting all three like I did last time, I just got two because 
I couldn't justify spending like $15 on makeup bags. This is the Candy Couture brand by Macbeth Collection. 9 inches by 6.5 inches. This one says makeup noun. It says Mac up. With this, all things are possible. The only thing I need besides coffee. Absolutely love that. This is like a really super thick canvas. It seems like a really nice quality bag. It's got the little wristlet thing on there so you can hold it on your wrist or connect it to something. It's got that cute little zipper charm on there. I know my nails are horrible, you guys. It's got that. And then, of course, I had to pick up this one because it's got the black and gold. It says, Mascara, noun, Mascara. Girl's best friend makes everything better. So those were the two that I picked up. The third one I do have, but now I only have one of them. So I'm definitely going to be giving one or two of these away in a friend mail or saving them for birthday gifts, something like that. So I believe that's everything. Let me check the Walmart bag. I don't know how this got in there. This is from Dollar Tree. This is a sugar foot scrubber. I think I actually got this out because I wanted to use it. So I believe that's everything. Like I said, I think there might have been a couple other items that I got from Walmart. I can't remember. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know my videos are always all over the place. I apologize for that. That's just crazy, Jessica. Just bear with me. Like I said, I know I haven't been filming nearly as much as I used to. I'm trying to make an effort um, while I'm at work to get out onto the floor or after work. They do have rules like as to when you can buy stuff. Like if I'm closing, I can't buy stuff and then take it out with me at the end of my ship. So it makes it a little bit hard. So like I said, just bear with me. I do see your comments and I do miss all of you guys. Feel free to leave a comment if you liked this type of video. Um, drop a like. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to stick around, watch more videos, hit the subscribe button when the little bell pops up. Um, it'll give you the option to be notified on all of my videos. Click that, then you'll know every time I upload a video. And also, I have my Instagram, which is Breakup to Makeup One. That's where I post um, pictures the quickest. That's where you'll see stuff the quickest because I'll take pictures in the store, and then sometimes I'll start uploading while I'm in the store. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.